is going on, y'all? It's your boy, Mr. J Pro in the building. Hope you guys are doing fine. Hope you guys are doing well. Now, I just have a quick little tip that I'm going to show you guys on my Final Cut Pro. This is going to be some of the material that we're going to be showing, that I'm going to be showing in my video editing workshop. Yeah, I'm just deciding right now if I'm going to do it virtually for some students, some guests, or we're going to do the in in studio session but this is just going to be a quick little tip guys for you know the, the worst thing you want to do is think that everybody knows what you know so just because it's basic knowledge for me i cannot just assume that it's basic knowledge to you this is how you get value from people that are doing what you want to do or doing things in the same uh career or profession that you're doing this is how you get value from them because if i automatically assume that you know then i can't teach you so i'm gonna assume that you don't know this but this is a quick little tip in case you don't have a gray card you don't have a white card with you on some of your shoots obviously you can do this for photos which is super super easy but for video editing specifically this is just a quick little tip that i use in final cut and like again i'm gonna assume that you don't know so we're gonna dive you get it you see how I, my waves and then dive we're gonna dive into final cut quickly i'm just gonna show you literally it takes two seconds to do and um yeah so i'm gonna show you guys my screen pretty much what you want to do so as you can see when you put your um your LUTs, when you put your color correction on your whole film on your whole clip, your whole video project. Sometimes if you don't get the right white balance, if you don't get your white balance right, the color temperature is right, sometimes you could go in different rooms, especially when you're doing like real estate. Um, you could mess, it will look completely messed up because the white balance is completely different with the sun coming inside the, the condo. Let's say it's wide open, big windows, and then the lights that are actually inside the unit could completely mess you up guys trust me this happens to me all the time um, especially when i'm doing condos and you're doing a bright area so you set your white balance if you do you could go auto but remember if you go auto white balance then you're getting all different type of colors right when i don't have my white balance card with me let's just say for instance this is the condo okay so this is as you can see here, this is the um, bedroom. And as you can see, the light coming in from here is completely different than the light bulb light coming from that is lighting up the actual unit itself. So if I keep this white balance, once I go into this bathroom, I go into this bathroom, look at that. That, that, that looks horrible. You will get fired, okay? You will get fired by your agent, by your client if you're white balance if your colors look like that because the bathroom does not look like that because you're using so many different color temperatures throughout the condo throughout the the office this is just a quick tip what you can do is in final cut you're gonna go up here to this little color thing and you're going to click on corrections it's gonna say no corrections at first so you're gonna click on corrections and then you're gonna go and slide down to hue and saturation then you're gonna see this it's gonna be like what the heck is this don't be alarmed there's only one tab you have to use and it will it, it will get you on the right path to get the colors a little balanced so all you're gonna do is you're gonna go on um you're gonna click this little eyedrop thing right here and then what you're gonna do is to me this looks very yellow dominance like there's a lot of yellow that is making this look very wonky very very amateur so to speak and this is because i did not set my white balance for this specific room because you're just trying to get that one walkthrough throughout the unit and the last thing you want to do is continue to change your white balance all the time which that is the proper way but this is just a little quick fix so i'm looking for like just say this area right here okay where i see that it's really yellow you're gonna click the eyedropper tool when you click that yellow you're gonna see in here that this little thing popped up now see how it was like this before just straight now you're gonna see over here 
it's showing you the color that you actually clicked. It pops up in this menu. Now you could change the hue and saturation of that specific color, which is gonna affect the whole clip. So now if I slide this up, it's gonna get even more yellow, which is obviously, that's what you do not want. What you wanna do is slide it down. And now it's as if you set your white balance right because you're now getting rid of that yellow tone out of the washroom, out of the unit. And it's just desaturating the whole thing, but it's getting rid of it looking like this. And now it looks like this. And now you could play with it as you need to make it look a little bit more vibrant, but at least you don't look like an amateur. And it's just a quick little tip guys. And again, this is just gonna be some of the very, very little things we're gonna go through in my video editing workshop here at JPro Studios. Hopefully this helps you guys out. If it did, please comment something and just say, thank you, John. Thank you. And I'll say you're welcome and I love you. Anyways, guys, in the meantime, in between time, let's get it times four.